Hello my planner pals. So today is a quick little tips and tricks video and we're going to be talking about accessory packs. Now if you've not seen an accessory pack before it's basically stickers, sticky notes and sometimes a notepad. This is the girl with goals one. So on the one side you've got stickers, on the other side there are the little sticky notes with the removable adhesive on them that you can just stick to things and then bring them up and on this one there's also a little notepad. Now don't forget that these can also become stickers if you just use a little bit of adhesive on your spread. So I'm going to get out a spread here. This is a daily page in my Girl with Goals um, guided journal that I, I kind of change up because that's how I roll. I change things up. So I'm going to take one of these, which is just regular notepad paper. There's no sticky paper on here. Regular notepad paper. Now I could just stick this in as is and that would be my list. What I like to do, because I'm a little bit extra, is change that up a little bit and I'm going to get a scrap of paper here. And I like to use this as two different bits because I can use these in any kind of layout. And we're going to show you how. So, you take this and you cut the two halves. Now here, you've got a box. All you've got to do is take your permanent marker, draw yourself a line on there, colour it in, now obviously you would take a little bit more care than what I have here, and then you've got a box, I'm going to do the same with this one, now if you're doing daily pages this is a great way to get a little bit extra out of your notepads, which is generally what I use mine for. So then you have two boxes that you could use in your spread and I'm just using that as an example. So if you find that this doesn't match your spread because it's kind of purple, it's lilac here, cover that up. And now I can use that on any spread at all, any spread. Same with this one. Now I've got a nice wide box. So I could use this as a big box for the weekend. Priorities, errands down here. You can use these in your planners. Don't think that they're just note paper. You can use these in your planners. So I'm going to stick these in this daily page and again I'm going to do the layout spread that I just showed you. I'm just going to kind of stack and layer them. So we're going to put that one there. And that one's going to go there. I actually might put it up there. That's going to go there. All right, so that's one way you can use the notepad paper. You don't have to think about it as one strip. Cut it, make two, and then you've got double duty. So that's how to use your notepads. Now, you can do the same thing with these. These little, the circle and the shape, little sticky notes. They've got a little bit of sticky on them. So they won't come off. You can do exactly the same thing. Take your adhesive and just cover that and stick it in. Now, obviously, you're going to put it somewhere where you need it. You do you. But what do you do if you have some that, let's say, are not the color that you like? Because I like the fact that this says important. What I don't like is the fact that it's purple around the edge because it only goes with this book. You do the same thing that we just did. 
The good thing is that because these are sticky notes, they'll just stick on your paper. Stick it down on a scrap piece of paper and then take your permanent marker and you go around the edge. You color in the bit where you want to change the color. Now you can do this with black and I do recommend black because black goes with everything. It's very rarely that you'll see a, a spread that black looks a bit weird against. And black kind of is a bit more forgiving of colors underneath it. And now I have an important sticker that I can just put some adhesive on. And again, I'm just gonna place it onto my planner, wherever you need it. If you don't want black, what I'm going to suggest is you either get yourself some metallic markers, and I will leave a link in the description to some metallic markers. The Sharpies are great because, you know, they'll go through anything. They're permanent markers, and that's what you need for things like this. Don't put these straight onto your planner spreads, onto the planner paper. Put them on something like this and then stick this on to your planner. So you can do exactly the same thing. I'm going to choose the bronzy one. I think this is bronze. Yes. So this is the bronze. And again, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to think about the edge and you're just going to go all the way around the edge. Now, again, your black is going to be more forgiving of the colors that are underneath. And I will link these in the description. These are the Amazon basics. For stuff like this, these are perfect and they're really cheap. Okay, I have an unboxing that I'm going to post soon, but I love them. I love them for doing projects like this. But use your Sharpies on projects like this to get more out of your planner stickers. And then, so that we're not all on the same day, I'm going to change days. And then you have a sticker that you can put in that is now a different color to the other one. And you can see that it's not like metallic-y, but it is bronze, it is brown. And this is also a great use for your um, acrylograph pens, your paint pens. So if you have those. So the other thing that you can do with these, if that's too big, cut it. Oh, but hopefully in a straight line rather than the weird diagonal that I just did. Okay, so that's too big. You cut it. Now you've got two. Take your acrylograph pens or your paint markers or whatever that you have, and then you're going to come around. Actually, let's do. Um, oh, let's do this one. Oh, you're not going to be able to see. I'm going to do one in this, and then I'll do one in the other color. Of course, I chose the purple, which you're not going to be able to see very well. Let's choose um, green, blue. Let's do blue. Let's do blue. So if you have some kind of paint pen or permanent um, marker or something, but the paint pens work great for this because they're made to lie on top of things like this. These are so old that I think there's a blue one has about had it. And then you have two boxes. Are they the best looking boxes? No. Will they do for a planner spread? Yes. Now I'm not going to use the blue one on here because it doesn't match the color of my spread, but this one does. So I'm going to take this one and pop it over onto here. Again, just a little bit of adhesive on the back. I will link these in the description, but just pop in that in and then you have a sticker that matches your spread in the size that you want. Don't think about them as post-it notes. Think them just about stickers without the adhesive on the back. So that's a couple of ways that you can use your note paper. 
your post-it note type things, your sticky note things, change the shape, change the colors, add in the extra little border, color your borders, and add a sticker if there's something on there that doesn't relate to what you need it to relate to. So I hope that helps, gives you a couple of little tips and tricks on how to use this portion of your accessory pack. Your notepads, your sticky notes can become stickers. Just use a little bit of imagination, pop them in your planner, just add some adhesive, that's all it takes. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.